After a long time, we've seen a lot of action from Mini in our market. Not one, but two new models coming at the same time. And of course, there is a focus when it comes to the electric side of things as well. Vice President for the region is Florian Kunstner. We're going to talk with him about these new products and, of course, the plan for the Indian market. Wonderful to see you, Florian. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Welcome and congratulations on uh, the launches here. Uh, there's been a string of launches, I'm sure, in your entire region when it comes to these new product intro introductions. And I'm sure everywhere you've gone and done it, you've got a great response. Um, in India, early days, you've just launched the car, but what kind of a response are you getting from the dealer community, let yeah. me ask? I mean, I can tell you that across the region, in all the markets, uh, there is a really very positive response about the product. Obviously, it's a lot of fun to drive. And I think when you also look at the design, not only exterior, but also in particular interior, we now, how we call it, have a, a charismatic simplicity in the interior of the car uh, that has uh, created a lot of positive feedback. And we are actually very confident and proud that we can now also bring this product uh, to the market. It does come after a big gap, like, you know, there hadn't been new products for a while. Uh, we did see the last uh, Cooper SE sell out in India. Of course, I know the, the units were smaller, but, but we see those cars around. Initial expectations or, or, let's say, the experiences for the brand when it came to introducing electric to a market, small market like India, what has been that experience for you? Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, we believe that the future will be electric. Yeah, so I think uh, more and more customers are considering in the region globally, but also here in India, electric cars. And I think we have here a very strong product. Um, and, and obviously, what makes us proud is that we bring it with the mini typical DNA, which also allows us, you know, you said it, we had last year a record year uh, with, the, with the current generation. And, with, with the new generation, we bring the mini DNA, we bring the design, which is iconic, um, and we, we marry that more or less with a, with a new digital immersive experience, and, and I think that, that will be wonderful to experience here in the market, and I can only encourage everyone you know, to get behind the wheel and, and, and enjoy the mini brand here in the market. When you say that uh, future is electric, I know in the case of mini, there's a strategy behind that as well, but. As a brand, do you think that your customers are more open to that idea? It's a good question. I think, um, I mean, take myself as an example, right? So at the beginning, you wonder whether electric is the right thing uh, to drive or not. So there's a lot of range anxiety. There are a lot of concerns about charging. And I can tell you from my own experience, once you get behind the wheel, first of all, you have that mini typical go-kart feeling and driving fun. Which you don't expect necessarily. <laughs> Low center of it? gravity yeah. and that gives yeah. you really uh, an, an extra uh, spicy experience. More so, yeah. And I think then when it comes to charging, what I experience is that the majority of the charging will be at home or at work. Yeah? So you don't really have to you just plug the car in. Yeah. Um, and I think uh, you might have heard it earlier, the statistics here in the, in the Indian market also show us that people only charge four to five times a week. Yeah? So it's not that you need to charge every single day. Yeah, and, and I think once you, you've driven a car, once you have experienced the car, once you've figured out also that charging is actually like, like brushing your teeth, so it's not a big deal, uh, you get used to it, uh, then I think it, it, it's fairly easy. And I mean, of course, in a market like India, the infrastructure will play for longer distance travel a certain role, but also there I think we have plenty of apps where you can check where your next uh, DC charger is, and, and, and then that also takes all the anxiety away. I want to quickly clarify, you said four to five times a week, you meant a month, I know. Uh, but uh, I just want to make sure the viewers get that right. You're uh, right. That's the statistic from BMW India. All right, now let's focus on the, uh, on the countryman for a second because, you know, when it comes to the SUV space, when it comes to, you know, the compact sort of cars that allow people to enter into the premium or the luxury space, the countryman always ticked those boxes. But when you look at the performance of the previous generations in India, they were always sort of um, a little bit muted, a little bit held back in a way. Do you think the introduction of the electric will suddenly get a new kind of attention on it? I mean, what, what we have with the new generation for the entire portfolio is that uh, we stick to the iconic design and a lot of like the, the, the features. At the same time, we bring it together with, let's say, state-of-the-art technology, driving assistant features, but also like a real digital experience when you look at the, the OLED uh, display or when you look at the app. So I think if you take the DNA and you add now uh, a lot of innovation, 
that is something which is exciting and uh, where we believe a lot of customers will be interested to, to feel and, and, and drive such a car. And I, that makes us confident. Yeah, and I, I really like how you've done so much innovation on the uh, on the technology from an interface point of view. So it's not in your face and yet it's right there and it's new and it's exciting. Again, going back to the buyer profile, do you think that will appeal to more people? Because the general assumption is that the more youthful, youthful buyer also embraces technology more yeah. quickly. I mean, you know, the, the number one reason why we now uh, designed the countrymen the way we designed it is that the feedback on the previous generation was that a lot of customers said, I want to have a bigger Mini. Yeah, and, and so what you now see with the Mini Cooper S, we still have the icon and the small compact car, the hatch. And now with the Countryman, we actually, we've grown in size. So it's really a car you can take your friends and your family and you can have it as a, even a first household car if you want. Um, and, and so with that, of course, we will unlock uh, certain potentials because, uh, as I said, in the previous generation, a lot of customers, they still wanted the Mini, but they said, I now have a kid or uh, I want to also take it uh, for, for my family. And I think with, with the Countryman, we believe we have the answer and that will also give us the potential to grow. All right, so Florian, two obvious questions. When it comes to the hatch, let's switch to the hatch side of things. Uh, one is, of course, the electric. When do we see that? And then the five-door. What's the planning around that? So, I mean, today we are happy that we have the launch of the Mini Cooper S as a hatch. And, of course, we are also very happy to have the Countryman in the market now with which is the, the electric drivetrain. So, that's why I think today we want to celebrate that. But of course, we are also looking at uh, the customer feedback and, and the demand in the market. And I think that's where we will then also be able to follow in the future with uh, further product offerings. And, and for those further products, do you see a potential in the whole region as well? I mean, or is India different? No, I think uh, when you look at uh, the entire region, I mean, we, we know that in the UKL segment that there are really fans who love the hatch. Then we have a lot of customers who wanted a bigger car. Um, and uh, also with uh, some other variants we are offering in the region, we have something in between. So that's why I think from a regional perspective, we feel uh, pretty good. Um, and I think with India, we will closely listen uh, to our customer feedback and of course also to the feedback from our dealers um, and then decide uh, uh, on the way forward. And then of course the obvious question about the Ace Man because it's now going, it's just brand new, it's just going into different markets. Uh, what's your initial feeling about the product given that you know it well, I'm sure? And also again for this region, what do you think about it? Yeah, I mean, I think for the region overall, um, it's a fully electric car, the Ace Man, right? So uh, we still have a lot of markets who on the one side love the compact design, but are also not so sure about electric vehicles. So I think we have some markets where it's, it's, it's uh, spot on and some markets where they're maybe a little bit more hesitant, but I truly, I mean, I said it earlier, the future will be electric. So that's why I think it's, it's the right uh, product to have and, and we will closely monitor and, and, and listen and see in which market does it make sense to introduce it or not. Um, but I think we, we feel confident that with the entire family, we now have really um, a very, very nice product. Uh, we, we kept the mini DNA and we will be able to adjust in the future if the demand is switching in one direction or another. That's fair. Um, one last thing that I'd like to quickly touch upon with you is for many years or for quite a while, let's say, um, in India, Mini was almost like in the shadow of BMW in a way. But last year we really saw them, uh, the, the brand really breaking out of that. It, it's got so much more relevance, as you said, record year. And then, you know, you see more cars on the road. There is more interest. We certainly pick it up from uh, our digital audience. Um, what would you like to see happen this year, which kind of capitalizes on the momentum that you picked up last year? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, the, the BMW obviously has a much, the BMW brand has a much broader portfolio. So I think what, what we'd like to see is that uh, we can attract more customers to the Mini brand, which makes them happy. And I think what we always say, Mini is the only brand which uh, comes with friends and puts a smile on your face. <laughs> so that's why I truly believe um, we can make more customers happy when they drive a Mini. Um, and obviously with the, with the strong dealer network and the expansion, um, we believe that uh, we have uh, a bright future ahead and that we can also make it easier for our consumers to enjoy the mini brand in the future here in India. I remember many years ago saying this, that no matter where you are in the world, there's very few brands that 
make people smile, like you just said. You no, know, it goes by, and then you you turn and look, and you smile, and it's still true. I think it's still very much true. And, and I can tell you, out of my own experience in in other countries, uh, you drive a mini, and you know, in the morning you drive to work, and and, and people wave at you and <laughs> say hello. Yeah? So that's why I think once you buy a mini, you you not only buy a very cool modern lifestyle product you also buy into a very nice uh, community and, and as I said Mini comes with friends um, and uh, hopefully uh, we can put uh, a lot of more smiles on, on many faces here in, in India. Well we'll be watching that closely I think we're very excited to see what you brought us um, and all the very best with that but do bring us those other products that we spoke about we'll be looking forward to more interactions with you. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Thank you. So as you heard there, more friends with a Mini. Uh, so if you want to appear more friendly or get more friends, that's one way to do it. But jokes apart, very strong portfolio now from the brand here in our market. And perhaps that portfolio will continue to grow in the months to come.